The one-act opera Elektra is a dramatic tale of death and revenge, and it's getting a fresh look in Salzburg. Elektra was the result of the first collaboration between German composer Richard Strauss and Austrian dramatist Hugo von Hofmannsthal in 1909. This combination is it's a kind of miracle, and not just for Elektra, but also for the Rosenkavalier and Ariadne. Uh, like it was a, a miracle, the, the cooperation between Verdi and Boito. This music is written for everybody. It's written for everyone. So uh, the geniality of the combination of the two great uh, men of art uh, is giving this kind of, uh, of results. Richard Strauss and Hugo van Hofmannsthal both take center stage in an exhibition honoring the festival's 90th year. They helped found the event in 1920, together with Austrian director and actor Max Reinhardt, who pushed to establish the festival in the Baroque city of Salzburg. Reinhardt turned Salzburg into a cultural hotspot. The festival still evokes jealousy as the artistic and social heart of this city in the summer. That's what Reinhardt started. And that's why he bought himself a palace. Reinhardt's treasured palace was the heartbeat of the festival back then. This summer, it's finally been reopened to the public again after more than 70 years. The Salzburg Global Seminar now owns the building, but it is renting it out to the festival for a few weeks. The arrangement allows for Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream to be performed in the Palace Park. Guests can picnic while watching the show, just like during Reinhardt's time. People used this enchanting garden to have picnics and simply have a good time. Reinhardt knew how to bring important people together to talk about the arts. And that's kind of what we wanted to do this year, too, for the 90th anniversary. Max Reinhardt turned Salzburg into a stage on the festival's first day on August 22, 1920. It was also the debut of Hugo von Hofmannsthal's play Jedermann. Now, visitors can relive the festival's history through the exhibition. Salzburg-born conductor Herbert von Karajan is an important part of that history. He led orchestras here an astounding 337 times. Richard Strauss and Hugo von Hofmannsthal's famous opera Rosen Cavalier is also a legendary part of the festival. But Daniela Gatti didn't let the opera's historical significance keep him from creating a cutting edge production. There is a lot of theory around music, but at the end we have to play, we have to do a good performance, and we have to talk to the audience. I think that if someone is coming to see an opera, has to see and to feel something. I have to think that people are coming for the first time to listen an opera, and to arrive direct, directly to the hearts of these people. That's essentially what the festival's founders had in mind 90 years ago. But change is also good. If you want to preserve everything, you have to change everything. If you want this festival to remain the world's best and most important arts festival, you have to change. If we stick to what worked yesterday, we won't have any success with tomorrow's audiences. So the Salzburg Festival's organizers have employed two of Germany's most sought-after contemporary artists, Jonathan Mese and Daniel Richter, as set designers. Their work is helping to ensure that the festival has both a memorable past and a promising future.